Two days after Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho accused the state of using the war against drugs as a disguise to shoot down his political career, two men seeking to unseat him have declared their position on the matter. The drug must be fought in a neutral and objective manner. And I know that the, the fight against drug loads is usually a very protracted struggle. So I'm not saying that I'm not accusing anybody. But I, I hate it when constantly political parties and coalitions are being, are being dragged into personal problems. Suleiman Shahbal faulted both the national and county governments for not doing enough to curb the menace, saying tough laws will be the only solution. Number one, make capital uh, drug trafficking a capital offense. The day you know you're going to get hanged for selling drugs, you'll think twice about selling it. But today, drug dealers get arrested in the morning, by 10 o'clock, uh, by, by 4 o'clock in the evening, they are released. But civil rights groups are not impressed with efforts put in place so far. I think it's important for civil society to clarify that there's no such thing as a war. Uh, what we are seeing are political campaigns and the drugs are being used as part of that campaign. Uh, and having lost the war on, on, on corruption, uh, uh, we are doubtful as civil society <laughs> that the government uh, will measure up to the task of fighting uh, the menace of drugs. They challenged the government to demonstrate its sincerity by sustaining the war before, during and even after the general election. Peter Mongangi, NTV, Mombasa.